Okay, hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to show you how we can uh, dismantle Western Digital USB drives in order to give them to recycling. The first one is already disassembled here. This will be the result of our second uh, disk drive here, where we will uh, perform the dis destruction. And okay, why are we doing that? Because, well, uh, uh, if I give it to the recycling shop, well, uh, I do not want that they can recover any data from the devices here. My second drive here um, is not working anymore. Um, I recently sent a special command to the device in Linux, which I shouldn't have to, so I bricked the device. So the hard disk in there is basically working. However, the disk is in a very deep standby sleep mode and it won't um, well power on if I connect the USB drive. However, if somebody takes this to a uh, data recovery shop uh, and puts uh, throws some money at it, he probably is likely to be able to recover data from it. And I want to prevent this. So let's start with the destruction of the hard disk. Oh, we need two Torx screwdrivers here. And we also have this knife here. Okay, let's get started. The first thing is how to open the device. Um, I had a look at the bottom. Uh, there are uh, no screws here. So uh, there's no possibility to open it here from uh, the upper the downside but as you can see here um, here's a usb port and um, we can dismantle it here uh, on the top so we will just go with the knife into the drive here just be careful to not <laughs> hit the desk here so uh, with some little power and force we are able to open the device well, um, if you just want to open the thing, uh, you can do that. Uh, you can put the plate back in there after the operation. There's no harm to the hard disk done yet. Okay, now we have opened the, the casing of the hard disk. Here we go. And here we are now seeing the, the hard disk inside the encasement. Okay. Um, it's easy to remove. The hard disk is easy to remove here. So just take them out. And here we go. Test. And here's now our hard disk. Okay. Um, what I really don't like about these Western Digital hard disk, you can see it here. There, uh, the only connection here to the hard disk, to the real hard disk, is the USB connector. So other vendors, uh, they use standard hard disks, uh, st standard hard disk with a um, SATA port, uh, as you can see here, and they connect a USB adapter to those SATA ports. And this is, has the advantage that you can just connect the SATA to USB connector to the device, and you can also connect the to device internally to your computer. However, you cannot do that with those Western, Western digital devices. If the USB port is not responding, well, you are out of luck. You, don't, you cannot use the device anymore. And that's a shame, and that's why I don't buy those Western digital devices anymore. Okay, let's unscrew the device. Um, we have several screws here uh, in order to remove the uh, the USB PCB here. So let's do that. And here we go. And as you can see, the hard disk does not have any standardized uh, connection or connector. You just can use USB and well, that's, that's a disadvantage in certain cases when you want to access the data on the device. So that's why I do not buy those Western Digital devices anymore. OK, um, let's have a look to the other side. There are several other screws here as well. And now let's take the hard disk apart. OK. So here we go. So you just unscrew all the screws here on the top. We need to take the fitting screwdriver here and unscrew all the screws here on the top side. 
there are additional screws here which are uh, behind those labels it's i think is because they want to check out if you have opened the device just for um, guarantee a uh, warranty okay once we have done that we can now remove the screws here and then we can open the device and here you can see the data disks um, and the read and write head and now we're gonna remove those data disks here uh, this one here is a very strong magnet so let's try to remove that one first uh, it's not that easy because the magnet really holds in there so let's try to remove that so it's a really strong magnet so we can use it for example uh, at your fridge to <laughs> yeah to put some labels on your fridge uh, you can use this magnet here there's another magnet down there which you can also take out of the uh, device okay let's unscrew the motor here so we need to take the second screwdriver here and just hold the disc and then unscrew the center screw here here we go and once we have done that we can now remove the first data disk here should come out very easy here we go and basically when you have uh, have it in your hand uh, the chance of recovering any data of it is uh, now at a minimum so you can just break this you can just uh, scratch it or you can uh, break it uh, just be careful because well it splinters up into very small parts so let's try to remove the other parts here from the disc um, this is very good in place here and whoops uh, as you can see um, the other discs are now here broken well basically that was our goal to destroy those discs here that no data can be recovered from those so let's just destroy the other things here just be careful um, this is um, basically glass and so it might be uh, very sharp so yeah and here we go yeah, well basically that's it i mean um that's how you can destroy your western digital disk drives uh, so that there's no data recovery possible from those devices i will take those devices now and bring them to the recycling shop and well that's it